little bit, put an arm or something on the table. It helps rest you, so you're less likely to get ill and throw up. <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. It's, it's really not. Ten. It's just Marilyn. Yes. When you see Marilyn go like this, that means we have um, 30 seconds or so. All so right. you don't want to start talking about something new. You want to kind of wrap up what you're saying. Yeah, I'll just do this. All right. Okay. So um, we are rolling in five, four, three, two. We're here today with Nathaniel, who's visiting as part of the Close Up Project, and you're here from Chignik. I'm here from Chignik. Is this your first time in Juneau? It's not my first time in Juneau. I have attended an OSOG session, which is a, cl uh, a student government meeting. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, statewide. Uh, students from all over the state come and participate, and it's a really great thing. So this, this is your first time coming as part of the Close Up Project, though? It is my first time in Juneau as part of the Close Up Project. And what was your expectation before? What uh, did you think it was going to be like? I expected, um, I was pleasantly surprised. I expected less participation from state legislators. Um, mm -hmm. They've been really great. We've met with our, um, our state representatives and our, states, uh, our district senators. And it's been a great experience, and we've been learning a lot from all of them. How long are you guys going to be in Juneau? Um, we're going to, we are going to be flying out on Friday. Um, certain groups will be here through Saturday. Mm -hmm. And what's your day like while you're here? Um, we are expected to be at our classroom by 8.15. And we do different, we've done different classes each day relating to the different branches of government, which is what we're here to learn about. We've learned about the executive, the judicial, the legislative branch. Each day it's been a different branch. Mm -hmm. um, usually first thing in the morning we have a short overview of what we're learning that day and then usually we've, head over, we've headed over to the Capitol building and we've sat in on House sessions and Senate sessions and we've met our legislators. And when you were sitting in on the sessions listening to testimony, did you find that these were things that you were interested in, you wanted to participate, that affected you? Um, not particularly in the House session. We only, we only witnessed the, uh, the presentation of two bills, and they, were, they both seemed relatively minor at the time. Mm -hmm. um, one was to expand a certain wildlife refuge. I don't Creamersfield. Creamersfield, mm -hmm. yes. And the other was to... Um, create a alternative school appreciation week mm -hmm. or something similar. Alaska School Choice Week, yeah. Yes. And that was very interesting. Uh, things got rather heated, it seemed like, in the House of Representatives. Were you expecting that? I, I was not expecting things to become, I wasn't expecting them to be that fervent in um, their participation for such a bill. So you, you thought that this was something that, you know, was kind of a no-brainer kind of thing or not yes. a big deal, and what you found was there was a very heated discussion afterwards. Yes. Um, they discussed aspects of the resolution that I wouldn't have even considered. Um, it, many, many representatives were concerned about how it would appear to people they represent. Mm -hmm. um, they were very concerned about what their people would think, um, and they... So they it seems were, like they were, they were very much in touch with their constituency and, and very much caring that they're actually representing what those people think. They did. They were, they were very concerned about their constituency. So as a constituent, did that make you feel that when you visited with your representatives and your senator that you would, your voice is being heard? It did. Um, we we were privileged to have a meeting with our with our senator uh, Sen Senator Hoffman, and he was mm -hmm. very he was very informative. And we did not. My group personally did not have a chance to meet with our representative uh, Representative Edgman, but during our House session, he did come over and speak to us, and it was it, it was a good feeling to see that they were interested and. In, they cared what the students were thinking. I know a lot of other states don't have that opportunity that your representative is some fancy pants person over there that you would never dream of talking to, or if you did, it was, oh, you know, they're, they're the big fancy guy. But you seem to feel that these folks were approachable? 
I did. They were they were very approachable. Um, Representative Edgman um, during the house session with the um, concerning the school appreciation week, mm -hmm. he came over and actually tr uh, helped explain what was going on and tried to um, impart to us why why all these uh, representatives were so concerned. Mm -hmm. um, what they were the perspective they had as compared to how we were thinking and it felt like they were thinking on a wider scope than we were. So you saw that there was more than just black and white to an issue, there's actually a bunch of different ways of looking at it, even something very simple. Yes, we did. So are, are these lessons that you think you're going to be able to take back and apply to your life as you move forward? I do. I'm a, I'm a senior and I'll be in Alaska uh, in Anchorage next year mm -hmm. and I feel like this is something that this is an experience that can really help me be a more involved citizen of Alaska. Great. Thanks so much for joining us Nathan. Thank you. Stick with us. We'll be back in just a moment. Clear.